so whatever gained we have seen in the yesterday's uh, session or first half of yesterday's session was completely wiped out although all the major indices or all the three indices rather closed in green but it was not the same or uh, with the pace with which dow jones s&p 500 has nasdaq and nasdaq has started its move so let us see what has happened and the kind of move we have seen does not uh, make any changes as far as the trend is concerned so for the time being we can clearly see dow jones uh, i have uh, I made this range yesterday and those who have watched my videos or uh, those who have watched my yesterday's video they know this trend and uh, it will not change because uh, the path is set and it seems like sooner or later dow jones will move towards or in between 30500 and 30950 this is the trajectory that we are looking at because dow jones completely refused 32788 or 32790 and has started falling from there now talking about nasdaq i mean there will not be any change in the trend for all the three major indices and nasdaq looks very scary okay because uh, the way i will change the trend based on the price action okay because uh, because we are analyzing the trend on daily basis so obviously if there is a change in a particular day trading action we have to uh, rethink everything before analyzing that or before uh, trying to find out zones so uh, i was uh, looking on nasdaq uh, yesterday and uh, this is what i find i mean uh, as far as resistance is concerned it will be in between 11,950 and 12,100 even if uh, even if nasdaq started moving higher from this position but if it fails to sustain above that you will see a big slide that is on the card or you can also say that the big slide has already been started although we have seen a move yesterday's move as we can see but it was completely failed so nasdaq went up and then closed down yeah, so this is what we have here so indication uh, for nasdaq is not very good because the way the price setup looks like uh, it is indicating that it is uh, anyways moving towards or in between 10500 and 10750 probably towards the lower end of the big range okay so this is what we are going to look at so it does not looks good so and the cut is going to be big one it does not matter what the news is telling you i am just focusing on the price action so if price action changes i'll change my view and the trend if it does not then obviously things are not at all looking good talking about s p 500 and you can see the trend will be the same and s p as far as s p 500 is concerned it has completely rejected 4024 and 4000 41 and now it is moving towards or in between 3670 uh, and or in between 3670 and 3740 so the trajectory is also set here so in all the three major indices we will see how things settle on the last day of this trading week and uh, if it is a flat trade or flat to negative or slightly positive it does not make any sense until and unless there is a very big move okay because uh, this week is already flat or flat to negative rather and if it does not work out the way one can expect when i'm saying working out i am looking for see the thing is if trend has to change you will see a 1500 or 2000 point move in dow jones similarly 4 500 point moves in nasdaq so i want this kind of trend for a confirmation if you don't have these kind of moves it will it will be like today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow days does not matter trend will not change and the trend is saying that all the major indices are moving south so on an i mean as a summary everything looks bad more specifically dow jones is going down s p 500 is going down and nasdaq has just started its big move on the downside again so this is the end of the video thanks for watching